What is going on my fitted collectors? It's just fitted and we're back with another video. Man, today's video, I kind of want to go over the current fitted trends I'm seeing in a community right now that I'm thinking this year may be a great year. If, if how things are going right now, I'm thinking this year it could be a really good year for fitted hats, man. And I say that kind of every, I say that pretty much every year, but I'm really thinking this year is the year. So I'm gonna go over something real quick. So one of the things I've been seeing is a lot of flat stitch logos. If you don't know what flat stitch logos are, take a look at this hat right here. You see it's a flat stitch White Sox logo. This hat is by Trendsetter. Shout out to Trendsetter for the side batterman. Very clean hat. Gray UV black guts, very clean. So flat stitch logo. I've been seeing this a lot and honestly, I think they're one of the most cleanest logos. I think the flat stitch logo is very clean. I have this one here that I just recently got. I also have um, my uh, Death Star White Sox that also has a flat stitch White Sox logo on it. So flat stitch logos, are really really being like popularized right now and honestly i think if you're a fitted designer i think a fitted creator whatever you want to call it however you want to pronounce it i think that's going to be something that's going to be really getting you to the next level is definitely doing some flash stitch logos so tell me what you guys think because i haven't seen too many people talk about flat stitch logos a lot but i really think that they're i don't know i feel like they're really great so it's up to you but well, let me know what you guys think another thing that i've been noticing a lot lately is tonal logos so you see how so this is the modern warfare mets by my guy king's new era this came out at pro image augusta uh, a few weeks ago maybe a month ago a few weeks ago i believe so this hat is super crazy right now you see how the logo is the same color as the crown so that's the tonal logo i've been seeing that side patch is absolutely crazy on this but yeah so green uv black guts <laughs> so you see that the logo is tonal to the crown i've been seeing this quite often not as often as i would want but i've been seeing it quite often and i think that this is going to be really popularized this year i think this is a great idea i'm not gonna lie even if you have like a black crown with um like metallic black like metallic black logo i think that's gonna be crazy i think that could be crazy so this is a good idea i think a lot of tonal a lot of tonal logos are gonna be coming out this year and I'm super excited to see that. It's cool to see, like we know we're, month, we're one month in already into the new year. So it's cool to see the different progressions that are happening in the fitted community and the things that, that are kind of happening as far as like different designs and different, obviously different logos and a lot of different logos are coming out. One of the most popular logos will I wouldn't say it's popular yet, but that's gonna get popularized this year is the hostage letter logos. I'm sure you've seen it. If you're an Astros collector or just collect hats in general, I'm sure you've seen Astros hats have the hostage letter logos. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen some Dodgers hats have the uh, hostage letter logos. And obviously you see examples right there, but yeah, the hostage letter logos, that's gonna be the new thing. Ronnie went absolutely crazy with it. I know Exclusive Fitness came out with some stuff too. Um, John Jay, I believe, might have been the first person to come out with an Astros uh, letter logo, but those are, and I know 95 North came out with the Astros too, I believe, that has that letter logo, that hostage letter logo. Those hats are next. I feel like those hats are definitely gonna be popularized this year, most definitely. Um, I saw a White Sox that's coming. Ronnie's coming out with a right White Sox that's available for pre-order. I've seen a Cubs that's available for pre-order through Ronnie. Uh, I may possibly have a White Sox coming with that hostage you know we'll see but yeah like i'm seeing I, i'm seeing that a lot and supposedly supposedly they have that for just about every team so if that's the case that's going to be the new 
popularized thing. But I'm gonna be honest, like that logo, that's gonna be tactical. Like it's gonna be really exciting to see what people do with those colors and those boxes inside the, it's gonna be interesting to see to say the least. Like I'm really excited to see uh, people's true creativity, true artistic features or whatever to really bring that logo to light along with the whole hat. One of the things that I want to see more of, and I actually kind of realized this because I was talking to my guy about it recently, I want to see more tonal hats. Um, I feel like we swayed away from tonal hats uh, last year. There was a lot of two-tone hats, so if you don't know what a two-tone hat is, a two-tone is brown brim, white crown. So like these are two different colors. A tonal is, I guess for example, it's kind of like this white socks here, it's just all black crown and brim is all black. So that's tonal. So I wanna see more tonal colors. Uh, one of my favorite tonal colors is navy. Like I wanna see more navy tonal colors. I think those will go so crazy. And that, and like, I mean, people, people don't do it too often, to be honest, like, um, Obviously black's a thing, you know, if you, obviously most White Sox hats are team color black, you know, that's that's a given, right? But like, if they do navy, uh, I could even see brown, I could even see uh, red, blue. I did a tonal blue. Uh, I did uh, the Chance to Rapper. I did a Chance to Rapper, um, ooh, excuse me. I did the Chance to Rapper coloring book. I did the Chance to Rapper coloring book, that was tonal um tonal blue um but yeah i want to see more tonal more tonal hats i think that's going to be uh definitely one of the hats that i get more of this year like i definitely want to get more tonal than more two-tone but we'll see man i've been seeing a lot of great hats uh that come out i, I do have some mail calls coming up pretty soon that i'm definitely going to be doing I this is one of my mail calls that I got recently. If you didn't see my shorts, this is one of my mail calls I got recently from Trendsetters. Uh, shout out Trendsetters, shout out to Anti-Square. There's a lot of hats. This isn't the same as the other side Batterman's. I'm just saying, not the same. But yeah, man, I wanna see like, what trends have you been noticing? What trends are you excited for in the fitted community right now? Uh, I think it's gonna be a great 2024 as far as being a fitted collector. So we'll see, man. If you're not into fitted, definitely recommend doing the man it's a cool hobby cool thing to do uh the community is good as far as it uh can be you know but yeah follow me on instagram follow obviously subscribe on here we're almost at 500 subscribers really appreciate you guys really appreciate the support it's been it's just fitted you guys have a good one peace